is your name? Nick Tandy. Okay. And where do you come from? I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm working in South Africa though. Okay. And yeah. what is it the first time you're in World War Week? It's my second time. I was here for the first time last year. Mm. And so um, it's good to be back. Yeah. And what are your main interests here? Well, we're, um, I'm working for CAPNET, um, which is a capacity development program for the UNDP, specifically on water management. And um, it's good to be here with a lot of um, <coughs> organizations that are doing the same, with whom we could partner in the delivery of, um, of our program, basically. Mm -hmm. That's uh, pretty much um, half of it, and then the other half is getting to, um, to grips with um, cutting-edge science on, on, on the theme of the week, which is um, mostly on pollution. Yeah. So what is your message here from Stockholm? What do you like to share with, with the rest of the... the, the well, um, I would like to say that, um, you know, um, it's only been two days, but um, speaking to people and having attended one or two sessions, um, you feel a bit, um, you feel encouraged and inspired when you see the solutions that people are coming up with. So, for example, in this team we have uh, pollution which is being discussed, but um, a lot of people are beginning to um, <coughs> uh, talk about um, uh, the downfall or, or you know water resources being degraded, and which is and that message is sometimes um, a bit um, depressing. Yeah, you know? it's, it yeah. can be a depressing message sometimes. Yeah, you know? but there's also been a lot of innovation uh, in, in technology, a lot of innovation in policy that we see around. Uh, there's just too much to mention. I won't go into detail, but. No. Um, there are some solutions out there, and, uh, and I want the world to know that coming to the world for a week is yeah. probably the place where you can get these. 